Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Allie's Amazing Scents. If you're new here, my name is Allison, your independent Scentsy consultant, and I have with me... Maya. Maya, and today we have a small Scentsy order unboxing. So let's dive in. Okay, so this is... Um, I got some bars from a Festive Friday sale, and the first weekend, I think it was, in November, and then... Um, I ordered some catalog items that I just wanted to be able to revisit or visit during this season still. So, had a lot of LTOs, so I just wanted to get back to the catalog with mm -hmm. some items. Okay, so we see here 18 items, all of which have shipped. Oh, you won't give me candy. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Nope, no peeking ahead, Maya. Okay, before we get to the wax, um, we do have a six pack of scent circles here. So I'll go ahead and um, show them. Maya can show them to you guys. We'll read the descriptions. This first one is Cran Apple Crumble. That is in the bakery category. Um, it's really good in wax. I don't. I don't remember. I think I did try it in a scent circle last season. Okay, so. Yep. This is described as, can you hold it up again, Maya, please? Cran apple crumble. This is baked cran apple topped with brown sugar and a dollop of whipped cream. So that's a really good one. That was in my club last spring, summer, and I think it'll probably go back in there at the end of this season. Okay, what's the next one, Maya? We have fluffy fleece. Mm -hmm. This is in the fresh category, and this is described as black currant and cozy musk oh. bundle up beneath a blanket of heliotrope. Okay, okay. The, the one after the second one is so good. Okay, okay. Maya's peeking ahead and getting excited about one of them in here. Okay, what's the next one, Maya? Next, next one is going to be in the floral category. This is, is velvet, velvet moon. Velvet Moon is soft floral or soft vanilla flower and white musk glow behind a silky layer of foggy mist. Ooh. So I got that one and actually the Cran Apple Crumble to pair with the pods in my car. This next one Maya is getting excited about. One of my her favorites. Favorite. One of her favorites. Vanilla uh, bean buttercream. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Okay, I get it mixed up. Sometimes. Yeah, I know, but you got it right. Vanilla bean buttercream. Decadent buttercream frosting made with the freshest butter whipped with cane sugar and vanilla extract. So this is a bestseller. You can get it year-round and just really very sweet bakery, huh, Maya? Yes. Okay, what's the next one? Can I hang up, up on my um, little... Um, you're already trying to steal this? Can I have it in my room? <laughs> um, I don't think so. I think it's going to go in the car. Anyway, let's keep going. Next, Next one. one. Also to go with the pods. Silver Bells. This is in the fresh category. This is mint candy canes. So, look, it's like golden chain. Oh, yeah. I think that's probably the oils on it, but it's making it look glittery, huh? Mint mm. candy canes dance over warm and welcoming winter pear. All enveloped in a velvety blanket of caramel and vanilla sugar. Oh, that's why I like it. Okay. The next one is Just Breathe. Uh, um, this is in the fresh category. It's and like minty. It is. It's baby freesia, lavender. Oh, pff, nope. That's jammy time. Sorry. <laughs> Just Breathe is... Uh, breathe deeply as soothing eucalyptus, zesty lemon, and a melody of mints comfort and rejuvenate. So it's eucalyptus, lemon, and mints. I've really glitter. been enjoying this in the body. So it's like a green glitter. I have some pods I'm going to pair that with. Okay, so now let's get to the bars. So Scentsy in their in their last um, the festive Friday that I ordered from. Had Three. where you could get, you could mix and match um, out of a cer certain um, selection of bars, six for 20. So there was a lot of good ones in there, but several of them are in my club. So there's one in there that I absolutely love that's in not in my club, and I actually got a six pack of it. So let's put all six on there, Maya. Whoa. <laughs> See? 
One, two, three, four, five, six. And what is this scent? You pick one off of there. We'll smell it together. Yep. This is Be My Honey. Oh, Be My... Mmm. What do you think? It's like the game called it Be My Friend. Oh, yeah. Smell this. It's good, huh? I feel like you should go on the list. So, room. this is actually a pretty good performer. It's described as pineapple rings tossed with sweet honey and jasmine. I'm sorry. Pineapple rings topped with sweet honey and jasmine blossom make a tr treat fit for a queen. So, basically, we have pineapple. <laughs> Want to hold it up there, Maya? <laughs> Pineapple rings, Cute. sweet honey, and jasmine. So this is just a really sweet honey scent. And the last time I warmed this, my dog Maple knocked the warmer over and broke it. And so it was so sad because I only had one left after that. So now with these, I have seven in my collection. And I'm really excited. I love this scent on its own. But I also think you could do a lot of fun mixes with that. I think like um, caramel pear crisp would be good. There's a lot of good ones you could do with that. Look, guys. That looks pretty cool, Maya. Okay, okay, so the rest of the bars are regular catalog uh, uh, items. Uh, uh, uh. Give me candy! <laughs> Give me candy! Maya, is that can your... I? Would you say that's your favorite bakery? Yeah, but also can I... Give me candy? You're already trying to steal that mm -hmm. one? We might be able to work something out. So, uh, wait, this is a must-have in our house, Mom, as you can tell. What if we mix it? Oh, we should smell those okay. together. You should mix these. Uh, but first, let's talk about Give Me Candy. It is... Caramelized sugar, golden honey, and sweet buttercream. You should get a six pack of that. Yes. <laughs> Wait, so look. Mmm. Okay, Mom. Ooh. What do you think with... <laughs> it goes in my room. Ooh, those would go good mixed they together. They go in my room now. They go in my room. They so, in my room. Maya is they saying she wants room. a mixture in her room of Gimme Candy and, and the Be My Honey. Be My... And that would oh, actually be pretty good. Man. Actually, Dad did say be my honey. <laughs> You're funny. Okay. The next one, I wanted to revisit this. Ooh, this baby. is black currant and plum. So this is a bar that was new last fall, winter, a year ago to the catalog. This is a second season in the catalog. And I just don't hear people talking about this. Um, okay, so the first time I warmed it when it was a new pour as a new release, it was very light, which I was sad because I love plum scents, and I actually really like currant, too. So I had a bar that I had let sit for about a year, and I warmed it, and oh my gosh, it was so, so good. So this is going in my club at the end of this season. Um, I'm glad that it came back so that I could realize how much I really like it. Um once it sits, it does get quite a bit stronger. So I think this is in, is this in the fruity category? Um, let's see here. It is. So black currant and plum. You want to smell this one, Maya? Sure. Dark plum, wild black currant, and Wait. apple. What, is, what do you think black. of this one? Good. What if these are mixed? It is pretty light. What's, what, what if these are mixed? Yeah, that might be. That might not be bad. She's smelling like a grape. the honey mixed with this. That's funny. Yeah, I could see that. So like yes, grape black currant grape. and plum. Um, once again, that is dark plum, wild black currant, and a tip uh, for a temptation you won't want to resist. Okay. The next one we have, you want to hold this for people to see it, yep. and then we'll smell it. This is a bakery. I think you're really going to like this one, Maya. This is oh. apple cherry strudel. Oh, oh, oh guys, guys. You guys, I have been craving this so much. No, that's a little bit different of one. Oh. That is, mm -hmm. those do go good together, though. This is my favorite cherry scent that Scentsy has done. Can you hold it still so people can see the front? Thank you. This is an oldie but a goodie. So this is Granny Smith Apple. Wait, wait, wait. I keep reading the wrong ones. Okay, that's not right. Granny. Actually, this one does have, yeah, Granny Smith Apple. Cherry and Vanilla Drizzle insist on dessert first. So we have 
I'm a baby. Uh, Granny Smith apple, cherry, and vanilla drizzle. Uh, 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 I have uh, to smell this, Maya. There was like a pop. Okay. Oh my goodness, this is so good. It does kind of smell like a toaster, a cherry toaster strudel. Mm. Smell it. Mm. This will be very strong for uh, a day, uh, 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 and then you're not going to be able to smell it anymore. But sometimes I like just having like a Oh, that, that's a good scent. set for Thanksgiving. It would be good for Thanksgiving. Let's do it. Um, I have some vanilla bean buttercream coming, and I think I'm going to do that in alternating warmers with this in my open concept. Okay, so the next one we have is new to the catalog this season. If you'd like to show them and hold it still, I think I have this is push. actually is this wood? Ooh, it's it's it is it's kind of like a like yeah, it smells like wood, and it like it's like 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 the smell of fresh trees. So dashing is irresistible vanilla, creamy mahogany, which is a wood, Maya. Will leave you swooning under fresh mm. night skies. So vanilla, creamy mahogany, and fresh night skies. I love it. This I is really it. pretty. Um, it's like a creamier, softer version of stargazing. It reminds me a lot of stargazing. But you guys, this is so pretty. And the first time I warmed it in my bedroom, it was kind of light. But my mom had warmed some in her kitchen when I was there, and it actually did really great in her kitchen. So that is dashing. Um, probably put this in my club end of season. It's been pretty popular, so I think it probably will come back. Mom. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> is that what that reminds you of? Yeah. The next one, you guys, I'm shocked that I like this enough to repurchase it based on the name. But uh, this is Palo Santo and cinnamon. And I actually really like this, despite the cinnamon. This is, oh, can you please hold it still? I'm trying. Palo Santo energizes Italian bergamot accented with clove leaf and cinnamon bark. Okay. So this is just kind of a, like a fancy, fancy scent. Yeah, if I remember right. Someone said it reminds them of a fancy um Furniture store. I think that was Robin H. that said that. And I can totally see that. It's like. Really cinnamon. You get a lot of cinnamon from that? Yeah, and then I get like. At it's the like end, sophisticated. I get like at the end of like a little squeeze of orange scent. Actually, there is bergamot in here, I think. Did I. Yep. That's probably what you're smelling that Italian yeah. bergamot. Yeah, mm. I definitely get like. Like yeah, so this is like a sophisticated scent. And I actually really like that. Um, so, yeah, guys. I don't know yet if I'm going to club that. Probably not, but we'll see. Then last one we have in here. So, basically, these ones I'm talking about, these last few ones have been my favorite of the new releases. Ooh, this is good. This is Midnight Mahogany. And this is also in the woods category, but man, this is good. So this is, now yeah, it's got plum in it. Juicy black plum and cinnamon leaf brighten up dark mahogany on a secluded moonlight stroll. Black plum, cinnamon leaf, and dark mahogany. So cinnamon leaf, cinnamon bark, I guess those are cinnamons that I actually don't mind if they're blended right with other things. They seem to go good with these wood scents and almost just elevate it a notch and yeah, it makes it seem a little bit more I can, high end fancy. I can smell like, like a cinnamon. You, you get, you're getting that cinnamon, Like, but I don't like cinnamon, but I really, really like this scent. And actually, like I said, I like the Palo Santo and cinnamon too, but this is one, that one I do like more. I would probably club that, the mahogany. Um, and or Midnight Mahogany, and I haven't heard a lot of people talk about it. I've heard some people here and there, but I feel like Dashing has probably been the most popular of the new scents that I feel like has gotten the most buzz. One of them, anyway. So, 
yeah, that is my haul. We have the six pack of Be My Honey, six catalog bars that I'm excited to go back and revisit. Um, we've had so many LTOs lately that I've kind of been caught up in those and I feel like I've kind of, I haven't had a chance to really enjoy the actual current season catalog items. So I'm looking forward to this. Plus, we're in the process of changing out our warmers, aren't we, right now? Uh, yes. So all the pumpkins are coming down, and all of the winter slash Christmas warmers are coming up. Actually, I only have two Christmas warmers, um, a tree and a matching shade, and then the rest of them are all winter specific so that we can leave them up through the winter. My favorite of that we just set up is probably the Christmas tree that's in that pod thing. Not a pod, but what is that? The diffuser that? shade? Diffuser, yeah. It's like, like, yeah, it's like a Christmas tree, but without the star. It's a uh, gold uh, tin. I'm sure you guys will see it in an upcoming video because uh, it's right there by my couch. But anyway... Um, Thank you for joining me. Let me know if you guys got anything in any of the Freaky Friday or festive sales. Um, I had done, this is my second one I did. And actually, there's one going on right now that I'm really <laughs> making myself hold off on because uh, Candy Crave was in one of the wax bundles. But um, I'm holding off for the Willy Wonka launch and Wish. There's a, some fun license items coming up. So, um, anyway, yeah, let me know what you guys got from those sales and your thoughts on them. And also, have you had much of a chance to revisit the catalog items this season? I feel like a lot of people have just been so caught up in the collections. Um, but what are some of your favorites from the catalog, new or returning? Thank you guys so much, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys. Ta-da! I love... Sensi. Boom.